Welcome friends, it's Miss Gisa. Today, we're going to take a trip to the seashore with author and illustrator Joanne Roach Evans and listen to her book called Marine Animals from the Northeast Coast. You may have heard of a place called the beach. Perhaps you have been to the beach and found seashells or seaweed there. But are you aware of the many creatures that can be found on the beach? You might be amazed to discover the fascinating marine animals that live at the seashore. Sometimes you just find the shells of those creatures, but sometimes you can find them alive. They may live on the rocks or under the sea. There might be some in the sand beneath your feet. Take a look here at the clams in the sand. You can see the quahog, the soft shell clam, the jackknife clam, and the surf clam. Some creatures leave little trails in the sand. Can you guess what little creature makes these trails? It is a periwinkle snail that makes these little trails. This snail's shell has a different pattern than the usual periwinkle. The typical stripes of this periwinkle have been worn and pitted to create this amazing design. Periwinkle snails are marine mollusks. They are often found on rocks where they graze on blue-green algae. You may also find a snail called a dogwalk. Dogwalks are also called dogwinkles. They are around the same size as the periwinkles, but they like to eat barnacles and blue mussels. The dog whelk's shell is not as round as the periwinkle shell and can be many different colors. Here you can see periwinkles have left trails in the sand and sand trails on the rocks. Many creatures live on the rocks with the periwinkles and the dog whelks. You might see a snail called a limpet that also feeds on algae. This one is a tortoiseshell limpet, and it has a striped shell, like a little hat. There are also many acorn barnacles. Acorn barnacles filter food from the water as it washes over them. When the tide is low, they close their shells so they don't dry out. Barnacles are actually closely related to crabs because they are both crustaceans, even though they look very different. Mussels also filter food from the water as they hang onto the rocks with their sticky threads called beards. Can you find the one hiding in this painting? There are many types of crabs on the Northeast coast. One of the most unique crabs does not make its own shell. These crabs are called hermit crabs. Hermit crabs can be found in shallow water and tide pools. Unlike other crabs, hermit crabs use the empty shells of periwinkles, dog whelks, and moon snails for their homes. They can hide inside when they get scared. They have small back legs that help them to grip the shell and carry it with them as they move around. It's like their mobile home. As a hermit crab grows, they find bigger shells to move into. This hermit crab has a periwinkle shell for a home but many need to move into a moon shell snail next. This hermit crab is shown larger than actual size. The periwinkle shell is only about one inch long. These are what scientists call true crabs. They have eight walking legs and two claws. There are many different types of true crabs. Three common true crabs are the rock crab, the green crab, and the spider crab. You may not see a live crab. You might just find the shell called a carapace on the beach. Or you might just find a claw. One of the largest and most remarkable of all the crabs is the horseshoe crab. The horseshoe crab got its name because the shape of a horseshoe can be seen on the underside of their shell. Horseshoe crabs have lived on this earth for a very long time. They are ancient creatures that lived alongside dinosaurs. 
During the day, crabs usually try to hide from predators like seagulls. At night, crabs will come out of hiding to look for food, called foraging. You may find a green or rock crab hiding in a tide pool as long as a seagull hasn't spotted it first. Seagulls love crabs. Another cool tide pool resident is the green sea urchin. You may not see a live sea urchin. You may just find their beautiful round pincushion-like shells called tests. Their shells are truly works of art. And here at the bottom you can see one that's alive with the spines and a sea urchin without spines. Sand dollars got their name because they resemble silver one dollar coins. Like its cousin the sea urchin, the sand dollar is also round and beautiful. The shell of the sand dollar has an artistic pattern. It's shaped like a star made out of flower petals. The sand dollar is a special treasure for many shell collectors. A live sand dollar has a covering of soft spines, hair called cilia, and little tube feet around and under its shell. One more cousin of the sand dollar and the sea urchin is the sea star. The sea star is easy to identify because of its star shape. Like the sand dollar and the sea urchin, it has little tube feet that help it move around. What's unique about the sea star is that its feet are on the underside of its arms. You can find the sea star attached to rocks alongside seaweed or in tide pools. Like the sand dollar and the sea urchin, sea stars cannot survive out of the water for long. Please don't take them out of the water. Observe them where they are. There are so many creatures to be discovered on the beach and around the rocks. It's fun to explore the tide pools along the seashore. You just might find one of these fascinating marine animals alive. Just remember, if they are alive, let them be. In order to survive, these creatures need to be where they belong, in or near the sea. In the back are beautiful illustrations of mollusks, echinoderms, crustaceans, and a map showing you where you can find these unique animals. And remember to check out the other read alouds written by Joanne Roach Evans. And you can go on treasure hunts with her on her YouTube videos to discover the amazing little creatures she finds on the seashore. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.